All right, so the GTX uh, 1070 from EVGA. Now, I got this card on eBay for $125. And uh, it's a good card. I bought it used, but as you can see, the seller still packaged it in the original packaging. And uh, I checked the, the serial number and it's a legit card, you know. Now my current card that I have is a GTX uh, 970 from EGA. It's the exact model. Just this is the the, the one that comes after it. And uh, let me open it up. Open upside down. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. It comes with the, the poster thing. And it looks like it's never been used. It looks like it was just kept in the packaging. All right, so now we have that. Is there anything? Let's see what else is in here. All right, this is how you can install your drivers, I guess. I mean, I don't know who has a a, a PC player nowadays. Oh, and this is these are stickers you can put on the side of your case. I want to put one of these in my case. Uh, this is the instruction manual for the card. So looks like the seller kept all the, everything that that uh, that came with the card. Of course, here's the card itself. Wow, it's, uh, it's in a pretty good condition actually. I don't see any of the, you know, one of the, some of the pins here are a little bit bent, not too much. Now, as I mentioned, I got this card for around uh, $125. And um, I had one, the, the TI version of this card on eBay on an, on an auction. And I had gotten the TI version for $119. And last minute, the seller canceled the auction. And you know, I don't know, he was just being a jerk, I guess, because, because you know, it was, a, it was a good price. I mean, I've seen other TI versions of this card go for close to $200. I guess he was disappointed that his didn't get that high, and that's probably why he canceled it last minute. Um, now, when it comes to performance, this one, um, this card outperforms the 1660 Ti, and it's uh, just a bit below the 3050. Now, this card um, does have RGB here. This does light up, and I am planning on buying uh, one of the later cards. So, uh, through auctions, hopefully I can find one at a decent price to buy. Oh, by the way, the TI version of this card actually gets better performance than a 3050. But let me put it in into my PC and see how much better my performance gets. Uh, this is the GTX 970 performing this benchmark. As you can see, it's smooth and the temperature is not that high. And I'm using this as a way to compare the, the, the new card, the 1070 that I'm going to be using. This is the GTX 1070. It is extremely stuttery right now and the temperatures are really, really high. I don't know what's wrong with the card, but these temperatures are really high. I mean, you can just see it lagging right there. Look how slow it is.
this is the GTX 970 uh, 1080p Ultra in Forza Horizon 4. This is the GTX 1070, same settings, but you can see that it has better frame rate, but it has temperatures almost 20 degrees hotter. Well, the car ran much hotter than expected, so I'm wondering if it's the thermal paste that needs, needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna take it apart and see how the thermal paste on the car is looking. And well, actually this thing is extremely dry. It feels just like a dry clay. So I'm gonna replace this and hopefully that uh, fixes my issue of the card automatically getting to 90 degrees. Well, <laughs> and this is how it looks like on the cooler. Yeah, you can see how it's falling off like this. If it was so good, it would not look like anything like this. So, let's see. Alright, when it comes to removing thermal paste uh, from, the, from, the, from the ship, um, I normally just use simple paper towels. Uh, my brother recommends to use cotton, you know, because it's much better, he says, and he says it the correct way, but I know I do it like this. All right, so this looks all clean. Uh, now to move on with the... As you can see, it's more or less clean. There's still a bit more cleaning that I want to do before I apply, apply the new thermal paste. Some thermal paste I bought some time ago. Uh, not too long ago because you know after some time thermal paste actually does go bad Now please do not judge how I'm gonna apply the thermal paste on this card um, Everyone applies it a bit differently put it in my PC and see if there's a difference in performance. Alright, 